it felt like the biggest thing we'd ever seen at the time for sure obviously it's gotten bigger and nobody knew that was possible i think it was cool for us like honestly we we took a long time thinking about saying no like we were right in that place where like we're selling off the rhyme and we're in the tabernacle in atlanta all these like rock club kind of like things were happening and she was much younger at the time too so it was very like you know it was very cinderella era <laughs> Taylor and so and in a lot of ways you know we found that to be true when we got on the tour like these um, I don't know if they're really into us you know they just have the lunchbox with her face on it um, but we learned a ton about performing she's one of the hardest workers in, in music obviously and translating and relating to people like we had been able to lean on just like them seeing us face to face in the rock clubs and all of a sudden now we're on a video screen all they're seeing is just your mug you know it's like you really got to look into it so all now the actions have to be bigger to kind of translate the feeling that you're getting on stage and yeah i think we got a lot better as a band like um during that process even though it was a little bit painful at times you know um, we're playing to a lot of dads with cell phones and you know what I mean? It was a little bit of that. <laughs> and so even that probably was good for us to like, oh, maybe not everybody's here to see you. So maybe you have to put on a good enough show that you got to make them care. I'm sure the dads appreciate it. Oh yeah. But the, I mean, I hope, I hope they did. It was yeah. crazy. We think about it sometimes like these like 13 year old kids who are there to see Taylor Swift are now 25 and coming to our shows. So that's kind of crazy to think about like, even though at the time you know, as we were like, are we reaching these people? Now they're growing up and they've been listening to hopefully the band for you know a decade now. And now they're coming to shows with their friends. And like, we get people say, all, they come up to us all the time, like, we saw you open for Taylor Swift. We were, this, we were like, wow, they were so young. But now you're like in it. And so I think it was really a good opportunity for us to meet new people, make new fans. And yeah, we learned a lot, played a lot of big places. and. Uh, it was like 90 something shows in six months. So it was pretty wild. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think we realize it more now than we did then. Yeah. Even like it, it, a lot of times it felt like, oh, I don't know if anybody paid attention during that. <laughs> you know, playing to 80,000 people. It's like maybe five people liked it, you know, but it obviously was much bigger than that. And I think the big takeaway to me was just like, the next tour we did, I remember it was for a record called The Reckoning, and it was so much of what we learned from the arena thing, we were able to like put back into like amphitheaters and that kind of level of things, and, and it's really stuck with us in terms of relating to the audience, you know, especially talk. I mean, we, we were just a rock and roll band, like we were like, we didn't talk, we just played the songs, so, you know, it was like bam, bam, bam. And you realize like you gotta give people some, you know, you're trying to have a relationship with the audience, obviously, and she's one of the best at doing that. So I think we, we um, learned a lot.